That means that all religions are simply man's attempt to find what he lost. Religion is a search, all of them. They are mankind trying to find something that he knew he lost, but he don't know what it is. And he keeps looking and he creates these complicated systems and rituals and all of these different customs, hoping to satisfy that longing in his heart. And we got all these religions. Religion will never satisfy the human heart. This is why all religions keep you busy so you won't have time to think about your emptiness. Religions keep you busy so you're not able to think about your lack of peace. That's why religions are full of work. That's why we go to meetings after meetings after meetings because we ain't got time to think about our own emptiness. We become so preoccupied with religion because we're searching for something we can't find. Can I put it this way? When Adam fell, Adam did not fall from heaven. He didn't lose heaven. That may sound simple to you. But you see, Christianity, for example, as a religion, so does, Bo so does Hinduism and, and Islam and Buddhism. They all talk about going to another place. Islam calls it paradise. The Christians call it heaven. The Buddhists call it the, the, the peaceful state of mind. The Hindus call it reincarnation of a higher state. They're all talking about something where we got to go to another place. But Jesus was the opposite of all of that. <laughs> if you never lost heaven, then gaining heaven is not restoration. Take a deep breath. Now, if you came here to sleep, I'm sorry, you won't be able to sleep on this stuff. This is heavy stuff here. You cannot lose what you never had. You cannot lose what you never was given. Read your Bible, please. Not the hymn book, the Bible. The Bible says God told Adam, have dominion over the earth. God gave Adam the earth, not heaven. You can't lose what you were never given. So when you say man fell, my question is from what? He fell from dominion over earth. Man lost control over earth. And we still can't control earth. That's why the animals attack us. This is why we got to sweat to get fish and bread. That's why we got to work hard to fight the bacteria who give us cancer. We can't control it. That's why when healing comes, healing comes to give you control over earth. Oh, you don't understand. When you cast off leprosy, that means you can take control over earth. You're getting it. Healing is not a religious act. It's reclamation of authority over earth environment. Oh, come on somebody. When you drive out cancer or you drive out a, a fever, you are taking control over bacteria again. And they hear your voice and they say, yes, sounds like Adam again. And they leave the body. That's what we lost. Adam fell from dominion over earth. He didn't lose a religion. So gaining a religion is not human solution. I beg you to hear me tonight. Matter of fact, let's talk about what God's original idea was. Right, this earth. In essence, God wanted to turn earth into a colony of heaven. What is a colony? A distant territory ruled by a kingdom. 
I lived in one. That's why God sent me here to teach this. Because not only am I speaking from theological experience, but practical upbringing. Let me give you something to think about. Why did God create earth? Now some of you think what I'm saying may not be in the Bible. Turn your Bibles to Isaiah 45, verse 18, and here's a verse you never saw before. Why did God create earth? God tells us exactly why he created earth. Are you ready for this? Very important. It says in verse 18 of Isaiah 45, please find it, pastors, because you got to preach from this. Read this when you go on television, Brother Mike, because this is God's design for earth. What motivated God to create earth? It says, for this is what the Lord says. He who created the heavens, he is God. He who fashioned and made the earth, he founded it. He did not create it to be empty, but he formed the earth to be inhabited. Amen. Can you believe that? God didn't create the earth to be empty. His motivation, his intention was for the earth to be inhabited by his own offspring. That's why you can't find life on Mars, Jupiter, Pluto, Uranus, or any other planet. Why? Because God didn't choose them to be inhabited. The Bible says God created earth not to be empty. That means God's word can never fail. Earth will never be empty. Even if he got to start over and make a new one. Oh, I'm talking theology now. Jesus said, heaven will pass away before one of God's words fall to the ground. That's why in Revelation God says, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth coming down out of heaven. And Revelation says, and we shall reign with him on the earth forever. Oh my God. See, you don't read your Revelation book. You read the hymn books. The hymn book says, I'll fly away, oh glory, and I'll be God forever. That's not what the Bible says. The Bible says you will be on earth forever, reigning with him. Oh my God, I'm in trouble again. Come on, you all right? Help yourself. <laughs> this place was intended to be a colony of heaven. As a matter of fact, let me take it a little deeper. This might be a little bit rough for you. But let's look at this one, hey? Write this down. Psalm 115, verse 16 says, The highest heavens belong to the Lord, but the earth he has given to man. Do you want any more evidence? I got a few more. God says, look, heaven is my territory. Earth is your territory. I made heaven for me. I made earth for you. I gave myself heaven, I gave you earth. You were born to be a ruler. You were born to be a king over earth. That's why his name is king of kings, not king of servants. Oh, some of you ought to get after him gone. Tell your neighbor, I'm royalty. I was born in a kingdom, in a colony. I understand kingdoms. Let me give an example of what God is talking about. When a king has children and the children are with him, the male is called prince and the female is called princess. It means the same thing. It means first. Yeah. Write it down. Prince means what? First. That's all it means. Prince means first. Why first? It means first in line for the throne. So every king who has children, those children are called prince or princess. First in line for the throne. Now the way they become kings is when the king dies, 
or the queen dies, then they become king or queen. So they can only become king and queen if the king or queen dies. That's how kingdoms work. God is a king. And he has children. You're sitting next to one right now. They are called prince and princesses in the earth. Revelation 2. <laughs> now we got to wait for our father to die. <laughs> us to become kings problem daddy cannot die <laughs> daddy is eternal so we got a problem that means you can never be king as long as you are with your father now here's something you never knew if a king wanted his children to become rulers while he is alive, there's something he had to do. He had to remove them out of his domain and put them in a foreign domain. Then they can become kings. Go and read your history. That's how it works in kingdoms. I remember when the king, Ferdinand, of Europe the king of Portugal his son wanted to be king and his father said you cannot be king I am king over Portugal and he said but I want to be king dad what did daddy do daddy sent Christopher Columbus to go and explore new lands and Christopher Columbus landed in the Bahamas where God lives and then he went on down south and he discovered Mexico, he discovered Nicaragua, he discovered Colombia, he discovered Venezuela, he discovered Brazil. And the kingdom of Portugal took the territory called Brazil. And he made it a colony. Brazil was a colony of the kingdom of Portugal. Check your internet. That's right. yes, sir. Which means that Portugal king ruled Brazil from a distance. And so the king of Portugal decided, if my son wants to be king, I have to remove him out of Portugal. So he shipped his son down to Brazil. And the moment he landed, he became king of Brazil. So his father became the king of kings. His father became the Lord of Lords because Lord means owner. Kings own the territory personally. Mm. Every time the son went to visit his father in Portugal, he became prince again. When he left, he became king. When he went back home, he became prince. When he left, he became king. When he went home, he had no power. When he left home, he had power. So it was better for him to stay away from the father. Some of y'all are slow. <laughs> Going to heaven is not in your best interest. That's the point I'm saying. He has given to man. Do you want any more evidence? I got a few more. God says, look, heaven is my territory. Earth is your territory. I made heaven for me. I made earth for you. I gave myself heaven. I gave you earth. You were born to be a ruler. You were born to be a king over earth. That's why his name is king of kings, not king of servants. Oh, some of you ought to get after him gone. Tell your neighbor, I'm royalty. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I was born 
in a kingdom, in a colony. Hi, thank you so much for watching. Please remember you can support our work on our Patreon page and you get access to exclusive content and full videos. And please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so and click the notification bell to be the first to receive newer content. Please don't forget to like and share this video with your friends to be a blessing to them.